hope you all can hear me well. It's a little windy out here. But I just wanted to get on and show my face today in this video um, because today is Monday and I wanted to really stress to many of the people that follows me, this wind is really windy. Um, if you live in Florida, please leave, please leave. Um, this hurricane is, yeah, it's, this is nothing to play with. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough to, to leave Florida, leave Florida. Listen, if you just have to go and take a drive, just look, leave, go to Texas. <laughs> go look at Texas, y'all. Oh, <laughs> Uh, drive out to Louisiana, go to uh, uh, the uh, northern Louisiana or wherever, but get out of Florida, uh, especially if you are on the west side, if you are in Tampa Bay, or around Orlando, any, any, anywhere um, that this storm will hit, and that's the whole family. I can't stress it enough. It hurts my heart to even uh, think about it. And I just want to pray on it and allow God to be God. So I hope that many people uh, will hear and do what the public officials are saying to leave, leave. Okay, baby, I hope you all will. But it is a gorgeous day here in Louisiana. <laughs> New Orleans is just a beautiful day today. And um, I've been dropping seeds, of course. You know. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm just enjoying my garden. Uh, I will, uh, listen, I've been eating, a lot of them is soft. These are, are mandarin oranges. Uh, but they haven't turned that beautiful gold. Some of them have fell off, of course. Things happen, but anyway, um, they are really delicious, and uh, I've been enjoying them. I also taken um, two of these oranges. I've, I've eaten them, but the peels I've made oil for um, my fall garden, just in case I need it for pest control you know yes <laughs> but I'm ready I'm ready so this is me earlier this morning and I'm checking my trees just to make sure everything is doing what they are supposed to be doing my black Italian and my uh, black mission they are just growing wild and um, I'm looking forward to pruning them um, early <laughs> this year. But these are some beans that I'm growing. I dropped these beans and they are doing really good, really good. They are pole beans, so I do need to put some uh, poles up behind them, but they're doing really good, really good. Um, my pear trees. This is my pineapple pear. And as you can see, they are putting on flowers in many places on this little tree. Flowers are blooming. Yeah. Now there were some pears, but they fell. But this is my pomegranate. There's more flower buds coming on my pomegranate. Yeah, family. <laughs> and pomegranates yeah that is a part of this climate change yeah but this family this is my cucumbers yeah they are looking beautiful I'm excited I have about four different varieties of cucumbers in these two Vigo flower containers but 
Yeah, y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Ladybugs. I have ladybugs, and I'm going to leave them right there to do what they're doing. Because anytime you see ladybugs, there is aphids. So, I'm going to let them enjoy themselves. I counted about four ladybugs. So, yeah, we have aphids. It is not really bad, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let them do what they do. Yeah, I'm going to let the ladybugs enjoy the aphids. And then I saw this. Now he got to go. He got to go. <laughs> yeah, but the cucumbers are doing beautifully. I will be eating cucumbers in about a week. Look at that thing. She's gorgeous. Yeah. That's an Armenian cucumber. That's what that is. But this is me continuous to walk around in my garden and just inspect everything this morning to make sure that nothing is getting out of hand. Yeah, fam. So join me walking around in my garden and let me share with you what I'm doing over here on this gorgeous, gorgeous Monday morning. Yeah. So this is my plantains or plantains, whatever way you want to say it. But as many of you all know, when Francine came through, I lost about eight racks of plantains. Eight racks. But this one held on. This is my Arabica coffee plant, and she have always been doing great. But I lost those racks, but those, that rack held on. And this is just a regrow of four o'clock flowers. Yeah, they are all just regrows. And I'm gonna let them grow, family. I'm gonna let them grow. They're beautiful and I love them so. But this is another rack of plantains that just held on. And there they are. They're doing great, absolutely. So every day I'm walking around my plantains, just watching them and making sure everyone is growing beautifully. And then, yeah, I saw something. <laughs> I saw something right there. That is the birth of a new blossom. Yeah, so listen, plantains, plantains, they can grow not only in the spring, but I get many racks in the fall. So here we go, here we go, my first baby in the fall. <laughs> and of course, this is my Moringa Olifera tree. This is my regrow. And every year I cut her down, and every year she does this. She grows back, she put on her flowers, and she also produces her seeds. There they are. These huge pods are filled with Moringa seeds. Sometimes up to 10 seeds in a pod, depending upon how big that pod is. They're all different sizes, but they are beautiful, healthy, healthy seeds. I wait until the pods get crispy brown then I harvest my seeds, and then I cut her down for the year. Yeah, I cut her down for the year, and at the beginning of spring, she grows back all on her own. I do nothing for this tree. I don't feed this tree. I don't water this tree. Everything she receives, she get it for herself. 
Yeah. And these are just some of the pods that is growing on my Moringa tree that is filled with seeds, y'all. Yeah. And I had been to cut all the salvia from around the foot of the tree, but I also have elephant ears and they are getting really big down there. Yeah, it's my wild part of my garden. I got a couple of areas like that now, <laughs> but I love it, absolutely. And of course, this is my butterfly peas. And now I'm just watering my garden. Yeah, I'm giving everyone um, water this morning. We had rain a couple of days um, where I didn't have to uh, water at all. But today, yeah, it's a me water day. But that's cool because I love it all. I dropped a lot of seeds in that container. And these are my zenas, along with my butterfly peas. And as you can see, the butterflies, they absolutely love this area. Yeah, they love it. Just giving everyone water and enjoying this beautiful day. Now, I turned the sound off of this video because, of course, I have music playing. And uh, this morning, it was a Frankie Beverly and Mays day. And that that is what was blasting in my garden this morning, right? <laughs> But this is where I drop more seeds, um, a lot of green onions um, and brassicas in this bed, yeah. But everything is doing well and I am enjoying my day to the fullest. Oh yeah. So this is one of my raised beds and you don't see it now. <laughs> I've dropped a lot of seeds in this bed. But this is, I think, one of the reasons I love dropping seeds. Um, there was this thing, it is called the soar in you, S-O-W-E-R, is being able to see something before you can see it. <laughs> now, you don't see it now, all of the brassicas that I have dropped in these beds right here. But as a sower of seeds, I see it, y'all. <laughs> I know it could be weird for some people to hear that, but yeah, uh, I love dropping seeds. Um, it just makes you imagine it opens your eyes up to the real birth of a plant. Find seedlings, you don't see that at all. But when you drop seeds, it's, it's a different thing for me anyway. So this bed, I've dropped many seeds in it and it is filled with collards. Yep. Bactile roots collards. So my niece and nephew sent me some saved collard seeds that they saved from their garden. And I dropped those seeds. I'm looking forward to them. And if you didn't know that Houston is also zone nine, it just means that mm -hmm, they're going to do amazing in my garden. I'm looking forward to them, y'all. I'm looking forward to a beautiful fall garden for all of us. Yeah, for all of us, really. Yeah, this is my peach tree. <laughs> this girl was thirsty. Oh, she was thirsty. <laughs> this is basil, y'all. That's basil. Yeah. 
when you are depending upon eating from your garden every day, you must be always thinking. So what I do is to help me out, I always drop seeds, family. Dropping seeds help me have options in my garden. Uh, sometimes maybe I don't plan, but that's okay. When I walk out in my garden, my garden will tell me what I'm going to eat today. Whatever is ripe and ready, that's what I'm going to eat today. So if you don't have any plans, if you didn't like meal prep, you know, just drop seeds and your garden will give you choices. You always have choices, right? Drop your seeds, baby. I was debating upon what I was gonna drop in this bed. I thought maybe I would drop my garlic here, but nope, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Mm. This is my, this is my daily stop. Yeah. Every morning I'm harvesting butterfly pea flowers. This is just one plant and it is filled with flowers. And also, it is putting on pods. Let me share. So, pods. These are the seeds for next season. So many of them is coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so many flowers. And I have been uh, making tea, hot and cold. But I also love sharing them. Yeah, I love sharing. So, my grandkids love it. Jada love it. Just uh, making sure I get my flowers for today. Oh boy. Now there's a lot of them here that um, I missed on yesterday. And I just let them stay. And um, and some of them, um, I like to get the fluffy ones, you know. <laughs> yeah. So this is why I try to harvest daily, daily harvest. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So usually what I try to do is get about at the most 40, 40 uh, flowers. So I get about 40 a day, I'm good. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Yeah. And of course it's attracting butterflies and bees and the hummingbirds. They love them too. All right, there is my 40 for today. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And not only are they gorgeous, they taste good, y'all. <laughs> they taste good. So this is the butterfly pea flower. Here she is. Awesome. So I harvest some figs 
These are from my brown turkey. They still have so many more that is ripe. But I'm going to leave those for the, um, I'm going to leave them for the birds. But mm -hmm, these right here, I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat them. Let's see what they look like inside. Mm. All right, that's the brown turkey. She look good. She look real good. Jammy baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's good. Oh, it's sweet. Mm-hmm. Sweet and gooey. Gooey baby. This one is so soft. Oh boy. Wait a minute, y'all. Wow, look at that. Now that's jam. Oh, jam. <laughs> that's jam, baby. Oh, that's really good, y'all. That's really good. <laughs> All right, guys. Ah. Let me wind this day up here. Let me wind her up. <laughs> guys i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all on my tuesday night live all right guys later y'all <laughs>